What is up, guys? It's your boy Gage G. Horny. Here you guys another episode of High School Stories. And today, I have a very special episode for you guys. This episode is going to be about getting forced to go to, to go to homecoming. I'm studying right now because it's even scary thinking about it. Now, you guys are wondering, how can you be forced to go to homecoming? Well, believe it or not, my mom and her ex-husband, my old stepdad, forced me to go to homecoming with this girl. So going back, a couple years back, um, it's freshman year, and there was this big girl, big, big girl, and she was a junior or senior, and I'm just a freshman, uh, I don't remember what she was, I don't talk to her anymore, um, so I wouldn't know, but, uh, and I didn't know much about her, but we were good friends, we'd talk at school, and we'd hang out at lunch every once in a while, and she was just a good friend, but I never thought of her that way, and she wasn't, uh, pretty at all, like, she, um... No, she wasn't pretty at all. She, like, I was not attracted to her in, like, any way. But, um, she was very sweet and she was kind, you know. And I could possibly, like, see me taking her on a couple of dates, but she was just, like, so weird and stuff. It's hard to explain, like, the kind of weird, but not the kind of hot weird, not the kind of nerdish weird, just kind of weird. Like, what are you doing, you know? Like, she would, like, randomly start, like, popping zits next to me and stuff. It was, it was, like, not even the kind, like, haha, I'm gonna pop the zit. She likes to t talk to me and she's like, yeah, so how was that, you know, and she's like, pick her nose a little bit, yeah, she was weird, like, girl, she wasn't special or anything, but it was just, like, she's kind of weird, gross girl, but, um, so, uh, one day, uh, and she'd always, like, like, hug me at lunch and stuff like that, and I'd just be like, hey, and, and I'd talk to her and stuff, and just being, like, I'm not the kind of guy to be like, go away, leave me alone, I'm a nice guy, you know, I'd be like, hey, we're good, you know, we're, we're pretty good friends, I mean, biggest thing why we became friends is because we both loved, loved Justin Bieber at that time, before I was, like, so into Macklemore, uh, and that's why we started talking, because I was talking to someone else, and she overheard, she's like, you like Justin Bieber too? And I'm like, yeah, he's pretty awesome. Like, I have, like, every album of his. And I'm like, awesome. Creepy. But then again, I am a boy with, uh, Macmore, or, uh, Justin Bieber, po or Justin Bieber posters right here and right there, so I can't blame anybody. But, um, so, uh, she's always flirting with me and stuff, and then it starts to get close to homecoming. It's about two weeks away. And, uh, she starts giving hints that she, like, wants to go, you know, and I'm just kind of like, oh, yeah, you should go, you'll find someone. She's like, I can't find anybody, I wish a friend would take me, and starts giving me, giving me hints that she wants me to ask her to homecoming, you know. And it's about, uh, about a week and a half now to homecoming, and one day I'm out to the buses, you know, and she's gotten, like, really weird, like, she started getting, like, super weird, and... Uh, this girl, uh, I believed did, I know she smoked, uh, marijuana, and she did do cough medicine, too, but I'm not, not quite sure if she did anything else. Kind of scares me once I think about it, but I know she did those two things, because one, I've seen her do cough medicine right before me, in front of my eyes, <laughs> at school, which is crazy, so this girl is, like, you're understanding, like, she was a nice friend, she would just really had, like, personal problems, you know, so... But one day we're out of the buses, and I'm waiting for my bus, you know, and she walks up, she's like, hey, I'm like, oh, hey, what's going on? She's like, so, I wanted to ask you something, I'm like, yeah, and she goes, do you think you'd go to homecoming with me? And I'm like, I was so shocked that she asked me, I swear, I didn't even think she was going to ask me, I thought she, I, she, I could just, like, push her away until she got the message, I didn't want to go to homecoming with her. Uh, but then she totally dropped the question, and I was so stuck in the moment, and, like, people were kind of looking at me. Uh, cause we're in the bus line, you know, and there's like people looking at me and I was just like, I was so stuck. I didn't even know what to say. And I'm just like, yeah, sure. That'd be fun. And I'm, she's like, oh yeah. And starts jumping up and down, holding me and she's like squeezing me to death. And I'm like, oh my God. And she like runs away. She's like, I, I gotta go. Like, I, I gotta go, but I'll talk to you later. Okay. Uh, here's my number. Be sure to text me tonight. You gotta text me. So I have your number too. I'm like, okay. And she left. I'm like, oh god what I get myself into you know and it's just like I didn't even want to go to homecoming because at that point in time I was I was a weird kid too I was really a silent kid I wasn't like didn't talk much I was really like I was like conscious like self-conscious like I like I was just like you know I was just basic freshman you know I had my friends I'd get annoying at times I would be like I was just a freshman you know but uh, at that time, I didn't. I wasn't really in into girls. You know, I'd have a girlfriend, but I wouldn't like you know whatever. And then plus, I already liked these. Uh, there's like these other girls I always had these crushes on and stuff. So 
she just wasn't like a, a person I'd think is my girlfriend. And I'm trying to say all this in the nicest way, guys, because she really was a nice person, just not the kind of girl like I would date personally because she was just, just at that time she just wasn't my like my, wasn't my type. And you can't really even say that because we're all like I'm still a senior in high school, and you can't even say that. like no, you know, like I just didn't know her, and she was just wasn't on my like priority list. I was just I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know. It was freshman year. Uh, why I just didn't want to be with her, but I knew at that time I just didn't want to be with her. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, and it wasn't because she was big or any or big or ugly. Because I've dated bigger girls and I've dated uglier girls. I won't lie, but it's just her personality. It was just so random and weird for me. I just didn't want to be with that with her. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty weird. But um, so I didn't want to be in that kind of relationship. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, back to the story. Um, I go home and I tell my mom, like, yeah, mom, I'm going to homecoming. She's like, oh, I'm so proud of you. We got to get you clothes. And starts getting all excited. And I'm like, not getting excited. And I'm like, Ugh. so and now it gets two weeks have passed. And uh, a day before homecoming, this was a Friday night and homecoming was on Saturday. I get in trouble because I went out with my friends and we were supposed to be home like, that, like sometime. And I got home like two hours later because we were watching movie, playing video games or something like that. I don't remember. I remember I got grounded, though, for being late. And so I get grounded, and now my mom's not letting me go. And she's like, you're grounded from everything, da 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 And I'm like, oh, for, you know, and I'm all like sad because I'm grounded. And then Saturday morning I wake up, I'm like, oh, wait, I'm grounded. That means I don't have to go to homecoming with her anymore. Yes! Thank God I'm all happy, you know. I'm like, yes, you know. And so it's about 1 p.m., let's say. It's about 1 p.m., and homecoming's around uh, 9 or 7 Something like that. It's uh, I think let's just say 8 p.m. Homecoming started at 8 p.m. and it's one in the mor It's about one, uh, 1 p.m. and uh, I call her and I'm like, hey, I kind of got grounded, so I can't go to homecoming. You know, I'm sorry. And she's like, are you sure? Are you, are you really, really sure you can't come? Like, really? I'm I was so excited and so happy for this night. I'm like, yeah, sorry. And I was just being a freshman. Like, I didn't really care. You know, I was just whatever happened, whatever happened. That's kind of attitude I had. And you know, I was just kind of a bad kid back then. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I was just like, yeah, I, I got it. I'm sorry. I got to go, though. I can't see on the phone. She's like, are you, I, I, really, really, I'm so sad. And it sounded like she was going to cry, but, like, not really what not really what I was going to cry. It just sounded like it, you know, because she was so sad. And I was like, yeah, I got to go. And, you know, she's like, oh, bye, and hung up. And I'm like, and I actually kind of felt kind of bad. And I was like, I kind of feel bad now, you know, maybe, you know. And my mom, and I ran, my mom gets off work around 5. And that's about a couple hours before homecoming, you know. And she's like, I'm laying on the couch, like, in my friggin' boxers and just eating and watching TV. And she's like, what are you doing? Gotta get ready for homecoming. I'm like, I'm grounded. I can't go to homecoming. And she's like, you're going to homecoming. I'm like, no, -uh, you grounded me. I can't go. <laughs> you know, trying to use her grounding as an excuse. And she's like, no, you're going to homecoming. I'm like, mom. And she's like, you go to homecoming. Get up right now. And you call. And because I explained to her, I was like, mom, I already called her. I can't go to homecoming. And I told her I can't go. And she got all mad. She's like, Gage, you get off that couch. You get ready to go homecoming. You call her right now and tell her you're going homecoming. I'm like, mom, I'm not going to homecoming. All right. I didn't even want to go with her in the first place. I started being mad and back talking her. And she's like getting all mad at me. And she's like, she come over and she's like, gets my face. She's like, Gage, hey, go downstairs. Get ready. Call that girl. Apologize to her. Say you're going or you're going to be grounded for twice as long. And I was like, oh. So I stand up and then I'm all like mad coming down here and I'm ripping out my clothes from my freaking room and I'm ripping out all these and I'm just throwing on all these random clothes and she's coming down here and she's like, you're not wearing that, da, da, da. do you even call you? I'm like, no, and she's like on my butt about everything. Finally, she throws me the right clothes and I put on some good clothes because I didn't match, you know, and I throw on all these clothes and and she's like, okay, call her. I'm like, mom, I really, 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 really don't want to go, please. And she's like, Gage, you're going, ask me again, and I swear to God. And I'm like, ah. Oh. So I finally call her. I'm like, hey, um, can you go to, uh, can, do you, or are you still going to homecoming? And she's like, no, I don't have a date anymore. And I'm like, oh, well, my mom just said I can go. She's like, really? Really? And she, I was like, yeah, I can go. And my mom comes over and she's like, takes the phone from me. And she's like, yeah, sorry, the Gage was, uh, and she, my mom didn't, uh, my, my mom was covering for me, to her, so she's lying to her saying, Hey, yeah, sorry, I told Gage you couldn't go to homecoming uh, this morning, but I thought about it, and I think he he should be able to go with you. And she he's uh, she's all like, yeah, so I'll uh, I'll be able to, I'll get him I'll have I'll drive him 
I'll drive him to your house and we'll pick you up and we'll take you, to, you guys to homecoming. Is that all right? I'm sorry. So I started talking for a second. She's like, did you buy a dress for homecoming? She's like, yeah. And then I even felt worse because she bought a dress for homecoming and I called it off. I was like, oh, man, I felt so bad, you know. And after that, she, my, we're, uh, uh, she gets off the phone with her and she's like, Gage, you are so mean to this girl. I can't believe you would even think about Telling a girl yes, and then when I, at the last moment you tell her no, da, 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 she doesn't even give her time to find a date. You know? Now I'm finally, finally adding everything together. I'm like, that was pretty bit dick of a movie, you know, and I'm starting to feel super bad, and everything's just piling on. So I finally, after a while, I was just like, all right, I, I guess I better go, you know. So we finally get in the car, and my mom's still mad at me, but we finally get in the car, and she drives me to her house, and she comes out, and... She came out in a dress, and she had her hair, like, all, like, done, and she had, like, all this makeup on, and uh, and she honestly looked not as bad, like, as I thought. Like, she was pretty, I could say, like, really pretty cute for, you know, just, like, it, she, it really shocked me, I gotta say. She was really cute that night, I gotta, I gotta admit. She came out, and she, I'm like, wow, you look beautiful, you know, and she's like, oh, thanks, and, and she got so happy. She was so excited now, and so happy, you could see it, like, through her eyes and the way she was acting. My mom finally drops us off, and she gets out of the car, and my mom, I was about to get on my mom's side. She's like, you'd be good to her night, and you make sure she has a good night. I'm like, okay, mom, God. And, and this is all happening to, by my mother, too. Like, my mom is forcing me to go to homecoming. I can't even believe this is, like, happening right now, you know? And I get out, and we go in, and, we're, we go in and we just kind of hang out and dance a little bit and talk, and then, like, we're in, in, in there for an hour and a half, and uh, we finally go outside, and hang outside, outside of, like, uh, we were still on school property, we just hung outside of the dance uh, for, like, the last hour and a half of the dance till my mom came and picked us up again. And we started, and, like, this song came, because all the windows were open on the outside, and the slow song came on, and I remember this night perfectly, and the slow song came on, she's like, oh, okay, slow dance with me. I'm like, oh, uh, and this is the first time we slow danced all night, right? We just danced, and we're messing around inside, but now we're outside alone. And she's like, slow dance with me. And I'm like, I don't know how to dance. You know, I was kind of scared because I was like, no, I don't want to slow dance with you. You know, I mean, no. And she's like, come on, come, come come, slow dance with me. I'm like, sure, you know. So I stand up and we start slow dancing. And I have my head on my shoulder. And then she puts, she like, her head's on my shoulder and my head's on her shoulder. And then she lifts her head up. And I'm like, my eyes, like, were just like this, you know. And she lifts her head up and I'm like, that means she wants to kiss me. Like, I totally stopped. I was like, oh, no, she wants to kiss. And then, like, she starts, like, kind of, like, not, like kit, like pushing, like, my head, like, trying to, like, let me know that her head's up, but she wants to kiss. And I'm like, ah, ah, <laughs> you know, just kind of, like, ignoring her. And she's like, kiss me. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so I lean, I lean back, and she's, like, closes her eyes and goes in, and I'm, like, puckers up. She's like, I'm like, Damn it! And I'm like, kiss her, and she's like, oh my god! And the guys are all excited and stuff. That was the cutest kiss ever. And I'm like, oh gosh, you know. And she's getting all excited and happy, and you know, I was like, oh, this is such a weird night, you know. But uh, finally, uh, we just hung outside, and that, after that slow dance, we didn't slow dance anymore. And that was probably like the last time we touched each other really. Besides, at the end of the night, I hugged her, you know. But that's it, and finally just start talking and laughing and we're just like jumping and running around just like being friends jumping around school causing trouble you know <laughs> and uh it was i gotta say like it was in a bad night as i could say so a uh, piece of advice to you guys is if you tell someone you're gonna go on a date with them don't cancel it last minute and let alone don't even cancel it if you tell someone to go on a date just do it you know unless you absolutely have to cancel it cancel it but you know it just it really does hurt another person's feelings and the minute I seen how happy she was when she came outside her door when I picked her up and seen how happy she like just this like how beautiful she looked and how happy she was that I could go on this homecoming date with her <laughs> she, I decided I promised myself I won't ever do that to a girl again you know and after that night we we became really good friends like we're really we talked and we just like couple weeks went by and we were just really good friends and then she got transferred and she transferred to another school in town and then we talked a little bit over Facebook and text each other every once in a while but then we just it slowly faded away where we didn't talk anymore and finally it was sophomore year and then I heard from and we didn't talk like all summer between freshman and sophomore and 
I found out at the beginning of sophomore year that she moved somewhere, and I don't know where she moved to, and she's gone. And so I've tried to try to find her, like, recently. Like, uh, I was thinking, like, before, when I thought about making this video, you know, talking about how I was forced to go to homecoming, I, I kind of got on Facebook and MySpace, and my old MySpace. I, I, I was actually on MySpace to delete it anyways, but I went on before just to see if she was on. And, yeah, I can I don't, first of all, I can't remember her name. <laughs> and how messed up is that? And so, but I'm trying to find out, like old messages that we sent to each other and stuff like that on MySpace, and she wasn't through any of them. I can, you know, she wasn't any of them. And so I really end up leaving my MySpace good, you know, for sure. And then I get on Facebook checking all that stuff, and I still couldn't find anything to remember who she was. And it sucks because she really was a good friend. Like she really, we had a lot in common. We always talked about Justin Bieber and going to see him live, and we're gonna be best friends and get Justin Bieber necklaces. And like we were. <laughs> We were really good friends, you know. She was just we. She seen me as like something more, but I didn't. But even like even I should have just from the min like the minute like from the very beginning told her, hey, I don't want to be anything more than friends, you know. And just instead of like not even leading her on, just like just giving her that like hope that we could be something more. I should have just told her from the beginning, hey, we're not gonna be anything more. Let's just stay friends, you know. And I'm sure she wouldn't have cared. She would have totally just gave up on that. But we still would have been good friends, so. Wherever you are out there, um, even though I don't know your name, I hope one day I can meet you again and we can catch up on life. So, yeah, but I want to say home, that homecoming day, I'm, I really, really am sorry. Uh, like, if I, if I really could find her, I really would say I'm so sorry for standing you up that night. I mean, I ended, eventually ended up, but even calling you saying I, don't, I can't go, I was such a dick, and I'm really sorry, and I apologize for that, so... Yeah, I just want to say that to you guys so you guys understand, like, how I feel. Uh, it, it was just, this was, like, years ago, you know, but yet when I still think about it, I still feel really bad for everything I did, and I'm so glad I learned off the mistakes I did, or else I wouldn't be who I am today. None of us. None of us would be. All right, guys, that is my high school stories of getting forced to homecoming. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got... Oh, sorry. I got the hiccups. Thanks you guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, drop a comment about this video, how you felt about it. I don't know what you guys say. Besides all those uh, rude comments saying, dude, you're a dick for being so rude to this girl. You know, I, I understand. I really was. You know, I was a freshman at this time. I'm trying to think of these memories as I was a freshman, not as now. I already know now that I was doing everything wrong when I was that age. But thanks for watching, guys. And it means a lot. So I'll see you guys soon. And I love you guys. Peace out.